Welcome to my Blizzard project. Part 2 The Reborn. So, basically, this thing here is just a your stock Blizzard. Now, I've got some different springs because a lot of the springs either didn't work when I first got the unit, or they were too soft, so I took them out. And uh, one of these bogeys is broken. There's a little tab here. That's broken off, I guess, just from too much stress. So I've got to fix that. I'm basically just taking it off and replacing it. So what broke on here? If you can see this very well, let's just see. Anyway, there's a tab like one of these is supposed to be right here, sticking out, and that's what uh, decided to break off. So the other ones have it; they're all okay. And we'll go in like here, where it's got the spring still attached. This one here, I, I've made a, a little mount so it stays put. Harden the arm. And I can change the tension just by changing where that spring is from. It's a little softer now. And that's its range of motion. When you run down the road, I can bounce back and forth. The drive dog I noticed right now is that definitely an odd angle. From the rest of the tires. That's due to the chassis bent right here. Not really sure when that happened, but I'll take it apart and correct it. But there we go, there's the, the chassis. The differential sits right in between here. Of course, as long as I don't drop it. And then the transmission sits there. Here's the transmission. And it's got some drive dogs right here, and they get basically mounted like that. There's a little collar that goes between the two to keep it aligned, <clears throat> and then we're good. So that can all go back together fairly straightforward. But before I go too far, I need to make some mounts. But this plate here is where I want to start with, and I need to make a motor mount. So my motor mount is basically either going to be on this side or this side, They're both symmetrical. And it's going to have to put a motor in. So our transmission has nuts on the bottom and screws on the top. So what I'll do is I'll put my little T-wrench. There we go. There's our transmission. We can get that apart and see if we can't change out that spur. That's just in there. Okay. So, number one, I'm going to take a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, and take off this C clip. Some people call them E clips, some people call them C clips. They're a clip, and they usually go flying. So, you put a finger over top. To show you get it going, and it just comes off, and there's the, the clip. This little cover comes off, and we have our tight spur. Now, there's a little pin right inside there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a little tiny pin. I don't know if you can see that right there. I've got to poke out. Now, I've got my handy dandy poker here somewhere. I got one of these little cheap Mastercraft tools that have a little poke on it. You stick it in here. Oops, go the other way. That screws in the way. Fine. There we go. Poke it there. There comes the pin. Set it aside. I don't want to lose any pieces. And my little driver all comes up like that. So there's the old splinter. Here's a new one. 
basically the same size. Now I don't know if this is going to be accurate enough for size wise, we may need a smaller or bigger one to get the game right. But we'll start with this one, or this one, actually we'll do that one. Have a look at some other gears, that might be better. So that one way bearing might fit in there nicely. Let's see about getting this thing out. So from my toolbox, grab myself at 1.5 mil, and we'll just back off this little drive cog. There it is there. Now we'll see about getting this bearing out. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. So I'll just grab myself something that will fit over it without pressing it through. And there we go. Now, looking at this, this is, is multi-sided, so it's probably not going to fit in this gear real nicely. And it will not. So again, this may be just a case of opening up the holes and see if we can't make this nice and round and not lose too much size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my handy dandy hole opener upper. I'm going to go from both sides, because it is angled, and just take some of that diameter and grab the little bearing and just see if it will fit in, and it will not. Voila. It's in there. Now we can probably adjust it for angle. Let's just set it on here. Actually, that's not too bad right there. There we go. Now I gotta be careful because if this gets pushed back, it can easily do that. So I'm gonna have to look at some shims on the inside here. Or even a little bit of glue just to keep that straight. But we'll try it just straight up. Let's see what happens here. Now this is a bearing on a bearing, a bearing on a, in a race which can slip. So we still need our little drive cog. And we'll see if this fits in any of the holes. That would be very handy. There we go. So it's just going to drive that gear, keep it from getting slipping. And there's a spacer that goes, here's the spacer here, between the two. That works just nicely. Doesn't torque the gear at all, it runs nice and true. And you can see that it runs both ways. Now I haven't got the pin in there yet, but it's working. Put the pin in, that's what drives the whole unit. And this will work just nicely. So something like one of these, as long as it keeps the motor away from the bits I need to keep away from. Now that, taking that into consideration, the only thing I'm worried about is getting into here. So as long as the motor doesn't like that, we are good to go. Now let's we'll turn this around here, this should slide on, all like that. And the motor's going to go this way, and yeah, I can run that there with no issues. See, there's no nice, lots of room. Nothing else is going to hit. Just got to keep off that. It'll run like that or like that. Now it doesn't matter which way I'm on, in the motor direction I can change uh, per the ESC usually. So I usually look at it no matter what I do. So there we go. Step one. Done. Just got to bolt this together, make it all pretty, lock tight the screw in so it doesn't go anywhere, and we should be done like dinner. Well, end of part two, guys. Thank you very much. You guys have a good one. 
And we'll see you all next time. Well, I'm not going to see you. You'll see me. Or at least you'll see my hands doing stuff. Because, you know, this ugly mug doesn't do so well on YouTube. Catch you later.